Well, it's been a wild ride for the Camels. I mean, this past weekend at the Final Four, both of their matches went into extra time with the championship match in penalties. But as they came back with the national title in tow, the Camels of Connecticut College have put the state on notice. It's an amazing group, a team that's stuck together. There's no I in team, although there are two I's in winning, I noticed. But there's a, and to what that meant, I heard you guys were extraordinary in terms of working together. And you came together at the very best moment when people needed you stepping up. And you also came together and stepped up right when I think the state needed you the most. The governor and other state legislators celebrated the Camels on campus today in honor of their historic accomplishment. And for a program that not only graduated a touted senior class, but missed all of last season, the success of this unexpected run is finally starting to sink in. When we got back to campus, we're seeing people that like I've never that I've never had any, like talked to before, and they come up to me saying congratulations, like that's so awesome, like just the outreach from everyone in this community, it's like, it's really amazing. You cherish um, the memories the most, um, the, you know, cherishing the highs and the lows throughout the season, um, you know, to be able to look back and, um, you know, the journey that we've been on together. Now, I got a chance to speak to some of the guys after the governor paid his visit, and they were really relaxed, really excited, and ready to enjoy the last few weeks of the semester, at least until finals roll around. Reporting live from Connecticut College, Unquasone, Fox 61 Sports. Brent Amanda, back to you.